So I have decided that I need some retail therapy <laughs> and that's primarily because I have been so frustrated the past couple weeks. I have a really difficult school schedule this quarter and it's probably one of the most difficult schedules I've had thus far. So I just, I need to pick me up. I want to go do some retail therapy. I don't even know if I'm going to get anything today. Honestly, I just need to get out of the house. I just want to walk around and look at things. There's not a ton of thrift stores near my house. So instead of thrift stores, or hopping. I think what I'm going to do, there's an antique mall that um, is close to my house that I've never gone to before, and I've been dying to check this place out. I'm really excited. So I'll see if I can get some clips of the inside because it's supposed to be really adorable and why not? So I'll try to get those clips. And then um, I'm actually sitting outside of the antique mall right now. So I'm really excited to go inside because I've been dying to go here and it's only like, I don't know, 15 minutes from my house. So let's go shopping. Let's go see if we can find something witchy. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I'm back home. The lighting is terrible in here because it got really, really dark out. So anyways, I loved that antique store. I think I'm gonna take you inside and show you what I got. I did get a couple things, not too much, but there was a whole section of antlers that I wish I could have grabbed some of the antlers, but I was kind of feeling it out. And honestly, the energy was just a little bit off for some reason. So you didn't actually get to see the whole wall of antlers because there were just too many people and I couldn't really get a good uh, uh, shot of it, but they had so many like cool bones and antlers and things like that. So I'm definitely going to go back there again. But I, anyways, I was feeling out the energy of the antlers and it just, there was a little bit of a weird vibe. So I did not get any antlers today, even though I really, really wanted to, but there was so much cool stuff. Oh my gosh. I wish I could have spent so much longer in there, but it was almost closing and I just kind of wanted to get out and not be that person that's, you know, walking around when it's closing. So anyways, let me take you inside and show you everything that I got. I feel like we're having a sleepover or something right now because I never film this late so it feels really weird to have it be this dark outside but anyways I basically just got a bunch of brass and I'll kind of talk about that in a second why I'm looking specifically for brass and gold items but I got three candle holders because I don't know why but I am always running out of candlesticks things to hold my spell candles I don't know why but anyways I found these beautiful and antique candle holders. So this is the first one. It's just a, a large uh, pillar candle holder. But this one, I love the shape of this one. And this is like the perfect size for my smaller beeswax candles. I just love the shape of this one. I don't know why. It reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. It reminds me of back before electricity was a thing and they would carry around their candles like this. I don't know. It just made me feel nostalgic. So I really like the shape of this one. And I kind of needed variety because I have, you know, I obviously have giant pillar candles and then I also have small beeswax ones. And then I found this low profile candle holder 
Oh my gosh, this thing is so beautiful. Let me show you the top of it so you can kind of see the design. But I, this is probably my favorite find of the day because it's so beautiful and it's wide, which is exactly what I want because when I'm placing a candle down, I want the ability to be able to surround it with little crystals or salts or herbs or whatever. So I like that this is wide enough to where I can put a candle and those extra correspondences around it. And I love that it's low profile too. So I can have it out on my altar cloth and I don't have like this giant candlestick reaching up to the sky. So perfect shape, perfect design, exactly what I wanted. And the fourth item that I got, check out this brass cauldron that I found. I'm really, really excited about this one too. It's so cool and it's huge. I mean, I can fit a ton of stuff in there. So I am really, really excited about that. I already have a cast iron cauldron that I use for pretty much everything, but it's really heavy and kind of bulky. And so when I'm traveling, like if I'm going on a witchcraft retreat or something like that, which my coven does like once or twice a year, I don't want to have to bring my cast iron cauldron because it's so heavy <laughs> and I don't, I don't want to put it in my bag and carry it around. So this super lightweight, I love that it's huge and I can put so much stuff in there. I mean, I could fit so many different charcoal discs and burn so many things all at the same time. That makes me very happy. But I think I'm gonna use this as my travel cauldron more than anything, or when I wanna work with brass specifically instead of my cast iron. But the reason why I'm so drawn to brass lately is because I think I've mentioned this maybe just briefly in some of my other videos, but I used to be a silver girl like i would only wear silver jewelry i was all about bringing in the silver tones into spell work and silver as most of us know is correlated with the moon and the moon rules over our emotions the unconscious world everything mystical and mysterious it's the dark divine feminine the moon rules over so many different things but i find that people are really drawn to lunar energy and working with the moon and it makes sense because the moon really does kind of govern over magic and witchcraft so that definitely makes sense to be drawn to more silver tones but for me as I'm going through this journey of working with the horn god I'm finding myself wanting to work with solar energy a lot more rather than lunar energy and I really just love the energy that the sun brings it's all about being big it's about your ego it's about vitality it's just prosperous it's masculine so whereas you know moon magic is a little bit more feminine solar magic would be considered a little bit more masculine but anyways so gold corresponds to the sun but gold is obviously like really really expensive <laughs> and I, there's no way I could afford to get a full candlestick made out of gold that's insane so I love brass because brass is like an excellent substitute for gold but it's a lot more cost-effective so I was looking for brass to bring in similar energy. It's not identical to gold, but it does have a lot of those similar characteristics of the more masculine energy, the more solar energy and things like that. So I am loving this switch from silver to gold slash brass. But anyways, I'm just really happy with these finds. I didn't find that much today, but that's okay because it was just fun to like walk around and stuff. So for the rest of tonight, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I think I might go do some homework, some video editing, got to eat dinner, do all of those things. So I will see you all tomorrow. decided to drive into Seattle for the weekend and go to a bunch of different antique shops and thrift stores. So we found a lot of good stuff. 
I'm really excited to show you. But let me start by this little headpiece first because this thing is something that I actually got for myself on Etsy. So I'll try to remember to link the shop down below. But I loved it because I was looking for something delicate that had horns on it so I could continue my work with the horn god. And also my coven is going on a Beltane retreat and we do a photo shoot every year at our uh, retreats. And so I wanted something that I could wear during the photo shoot that was our theme this year is woodland creek. Creature. That's our photo shoot theme. So it's got a little piece of amethyst on the front and the little moon. But I wanted to show you this so I could literally put it on for the rest of this little thrifted haul. And I also got this green cape as well. That's why I'm wearing this right now and looking absolutely ridiculous in my witchy room. This is going to also be part of the costume that I wear during that photo shoot. So we're just, I'm just going to put it all on while we do this. Why not? Am I looking absolutely ridiculous now? You know what? This is nice. I like that. That's super cute. Oh, I can't wait to do like the little freckles on my face, like deer freckles, not deer freckles, deer spots. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's gonna look adorable. Okay, let's move on. Some of the other thrift store finds. Ooh, you know what I'm noticing is that when I look down, this kind of slips off my head a little bit. So as cute as it is, just kidding. Let's take this off for now. So the first thing I found at the thrift stores is this mirror and I'm really excited to work with this. I haven't decided if I wanna spray paint it black and turn it into a, a black mirror for scrying or if I wanna leave it clear because what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to write out my spell working and then put the candle on top of this because for spells I love using mirrors for reversals I love using mirrors for amplifying things or magnifying things so I'd really love to be able to stick a candle on top of this and then write my intention in lipstick or some sort of erasable something I don't know but Anyways, uh, still on theme with the brass slash gold and it's the perfect size for a tray. I mean, it is just, it's huge. I'm trying not to get too much of a glare <laughs> in showing it to you, but I really, really love this piece. This was a good find. I still need to clean it a little bit, but oh well. The next thing that I found, I am so excited for this. If you have seen any of my other videos, you've probably seen a big driftwood candelabra in the background. It's actually right up here. It's usually in the background of most of my recent videos. And so I found this and it's a candle holder. I'm so stoked because now I have another driftwood piece to go with my candelabra. So I'm gonna stick a big white candle in here. I don't know what I'm gonna anoint it for yet, but it can hold a pretty big size of a candle and it just, oh, it's so witchy. It's so witchy. I love driftwood. I mean, I was born and raised in the Pacific Northwest, so I've always been around water pretty much my whole life, and I just oh, love driftwood. And then I also found this gorgeous purple glass glass I think it's glass jar or vase I don't know what else to call this I think it's a decanter maybe or no not a decanter but it has a cork lid on top but it's this deep beautiful purple color and I really want to start using this for my dark moon water or even my solar water as well they had a couple different colors available but I picked purple because of the associations with it being related to spirituality the crown enlightenment mint magic you know all of those things so I, I chose the purple one and it's a pretty good size so I'll be putting either my moon water or my solar water in here to charge and then adding it into my ritual baths because I love bathing in solar water or moon water just depending on what intention I'm going for and then the rest of this stuff is actually birthday gifts things I did not thrift, but gifts from other people. And I hesitated whether I wanted to share that it was my birthday online or not, because I don't particularly enjoy <laughs> being put in a box. Most people don't realize that there's actually so much more to a birth chart that makes someone who they are than just the sun sign. So I always hesitate once people know that I'm a Pisces sun sign. For one, Pisces are extremely misunderstood. They're always thought of as the sensitive crybabies, which is hilarious because that is definitely not the case. But also with my Sagittarius moon, I just really value freedom and I don't like being restricted. I don't like being put in a box. I don't wanna be stereotyped. So anyways, just a moment of vulnerability there because I was really hesitant whether I did wanna share if it was my birthday or not.
it's very possible that my Sagittarius moon is just like, don't put me in a box. So anyways, I got some candle figurines from my friend. Thank you so much, Molly. I am really, really excited to use these. Actually, let me show you them one at a time. So this is a black skull, and I love using skulls for psychological work, especially black skull candles, because you can carve in whatever your intention is, whether you want to kick a bad habit, whether you want to change your perspective on something, something that has to do with changing your mind or rewiring your brain. You can even use this for shadow work or something, but you carve in your intention into the skull and it helps connect to your mind and do that psychological work. The kit that she got me also came with this black raven and it actually has the pentacle on the front of it. So hopefully you can see that okay. But I thought this was so cool. I cannot wait to use this and connect with the spirit of the raven. And then she got me these figurines. We have a female body and a male body. I can't wait to use these. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for yet, but definitely use them in some sort of binding or banishing or something exciting. And then I was also gifted this adorable little figurine. Thank you, Jay, so much for this. She's cute. Don't know what I'm gonna do with her yet, but she's probably gonna go on my altar. And I love that little pentacle on her forehead as well. And then I just kind of decided to get the Deluxe Ostara box from the Witch's Moon uh, subscription box company. They have these deluxe boxes now for every Sabbath and they sell out so fast and only a hundred people are able to get those boxes. So I got one of the boxes and I'm not gonna show you the entire contents of what was in that box, but I do wanna show you some of my favorite items in there. It came with some of these glass jars. Let me see if I can hold all three together, but there's lavender, jasmine, and rose. And these are so pretty. Look at the jasmine jar. I have a lot of lavender and rose already, but I really, really loved the, the jasmine one. And I love the shape of this too. It totally looks like a potion bottle. Also got some Florida water, so helpful because I was really running low on Florida water. And a lot of people think that this is regular water and it's not. <laughs> I've actually had a couple people ask questions about it. It's great for cleansing. People use Florida water to clean their altar or clean their space and it's just an excellent uh, cleansing aid. And it also smells amazing. And the last item, I got this giant spell candle, spell jar, whatever. It's a good luck, lucky clover and jasmine candle. So can't wait to use this in some money magic or prosperity magic, but it smells amazing. I love the smell of jasmine, it's so delicious. I also filmed an entire birthday vlog and then ended up not uploading it for various different reasons, but I did have a ton of other stuff filmed, but I think I'm just gonna go with the thrifting hauls for this video. This was going to be like a 45 minute vlog of all the different things I did for my birthday weekend, but the lighting wasn't great. It just, once I took my camera out into the wilderness because I went hiking for my birthday and I spent the whole day out in the forest alone and it was amazing. I had an amazing experience, really great meditation, lots of journaling, lots of reflections, lots of me talking to the camera about my enlightening moments. But then as I watched the footage back, I realized how terribly filmed it all was and the lighting, it was just, it looked so bad. But I hope you enjoyed this little thrifting vlog. It was really fun for me to do. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video soon.